Subscribe to Emi channel and click the bell icon to get the latest updates of the videos which I upload. Hi, today I am going to discuss briefly about heredity. Evolution already I have discussed in earlier videos. Coming to heredity, what is heredity? Transfer of characters from parents to offspring is called as heredity. This transfer of characters occurs because of a structure called genes and chromosomes which are present in the nucleus of our cell. Because genes helps in transfer of characters, we will describe gene as unit of inheritance. Study of genes is called as genetics. And father of genetics is Gregor Johansson Mendel. Mendel was a Christian monk, church father, extensively interested in hybridizational techniques. He worked on pea plant. Pea plant scientific name is Pisum sativum. Why did he select pea plant only? Because it can grow in any season and also it has very short lifespan that is it can grow very fast and also it has many varieties like tall plant, dwarf plant, round seeded plant, wrinkle seeded plant, yellow pod, green pod, different varieties of pea plants are available. Basing on the experimentals which he conducted on pea plant, he proposed two famous laws called as law of independent assortment and law of segregation basing on which he proposed monohybrid and dihybrid ratios also. The other important topics of heredity which we cover in 10 CBSC are sex determination and acquired and inherited traits or characters, speciation, origin of species, variations. All these topics now we'll discuss briefly one by one. Number one, we'll discuss about the sex determination. Sex determination of a fetus is determined exclusively by males. Normally we know males have X and Y sex chromosomes. Females have X and X chromosomes. If male X and female X combine during fertilization, that results in female fetus. And if male Y and female X combine during fertilization, it results in male fetus. So chance of male fetus or female fetus is only 50-50% chances. No one can predict the sex of a fetus. Number two, acquired and inherited traits or characters. Acquired characters are those characters which we get in course of lifetime. Like example, a person building a six-pack muscle body is an acquired character that will not be transferred to next generation because whatever happening changes do not occur at gene level. Whereas inherited characters are those characters which we get by birth and that will be transferred to next generation because changes will occur at gene level. A person is colorblind, it is decided by genes. So that character will be transferred to next generation also. Next topic, speciation. What are species? Species are closely related organisms which can interbreed among themselves. Like dogs and dogs belongs to one species, cats and cats belongs to one species. Dogs and cats are different species because they cannot interbreed. And formation of new species is called speciation. And what are the factors leading to speciation? The factors leading to speciation are natural selection, variations, mutations. Mutation means sudden inheritable changes occurring at gene level. And the one geographical isolation or and genetic drift. These are the five factors which are responsible factors for speciation or formation of new species. Coming to the Darwin's theory. Darwin is a famous scientist who traveled in HMS Beagle sheep and wrote an important book called Origin of Species. In his theory, natural selection theory, he claimed that organisms having better characters, I mean to say better variations, will only survive in the course of evolution. And that organisms are called survival of the fittest. Generally, we call them as smarter, intelligent and stronger organisms. Remaining all organisms which have weak characters or bad variations become extinct in the course of evolution because they cannot sustain in front of the strong characters. That is about the origin of species. 
coming to variations what are variations variations are slight differences present between parents and offspring definitely some differences will be present between parent and offspring parents and offspring don't look alike these variations occur due to dna copying and also because of fusion of male and female gametes so dna copying is the most important feature which helps in creating variations what is dna copying dna copying is also most important topic step by step in detail i will explain about the dna copying try to listen carefully dna copying at natural in easy way i will try to say first the dna coils will uncoil so one dna coil divides into two strands each strand will prepare its own dna strand now in one cell two dna's are there one dna remains in the cell other dna comes out of the cell that dna which is coming out of the cell now will prepare its own cell apparatus this d new dna formation is occurring because of chemical reactions which are which are occurring in the cell this chemical reactions which are occurring in the cell are not reliable they don't occur in whatever way we want they occur in their own manner therefore some variations definitely will occur so new dna formation always results in variations because dna little change will be there that little change only we will call it as variations dna copying results in variations still we have mono hybrid cross di hybrid cross are left over which i did not discuss in this video i will discuss them in another video coming videos because mono hybrid and di hybrid cross we need to discuss them clearly and very carefully because they are also very very important topics i will discuss them in another videos and indirectly darwin's theory which we understood from origin of species he says that all the organisms must evolve because if you don't evolve you will finally dissolve in the course of evolution that means all the weaker organisms will become extinct in the course of evolution so we have to evolve continuously